Hi everyone, we are going to look into your person's thoughts towards you today. This is for all star signs. Hello and welcome. So I just wanted to mention a few things, like if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. If you would like to purchase any personal services, they are listed down below for your convenience. I offer things like personal tarot readings, black magic energy removal. There is also the uh, rituals to manifest different areas of your life, prayer work, healings, um, and so much more, <laughs> it's all there. And then of course, there is the intention items which thousands of people have seen results with. These items are meditated with and sage. There's items like bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels um, for various areas of your life, including love, but also success and happiness and anxiety relief. And you know, there's, there's so many categories, um, protection, etc. So check it out if you're interested. Everything's linked down below and on shopmoonlightguidance.com. Uh, review sections at the bottom of my website. Um, and yeah. It's all, it's all there. It's all linked down below for you. All right, so we are going to uh, have a look and see what's coming through your person's thoughts towards you today. What are they thinking about in regards to you today? Okay, a lot of cards have come out, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there. That that happened rather quickly. I was not expecting that, but here we go. Now, for each of these cards, I'm going to pull a clarifying tarot card as well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just do that. There we go. And let's grab these tarot cards. Do, 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 do. Right, here we go. So, first one here is my nerves have been getting the best of me. Yep, they haven't been feeling so good in their life right now. Now you're probably thinking, well, what's what's that got to do with their thoughts towards me, Moonlight? I'll tell you, you know, um, when someone is feeling not very well, um, say someone has food poisoning, for example, right? And you're like that person's best friend and you want to go here, there, everywhere, right? But they're not feeling very well. So they may not be able to live up to that same kind of energy as they usually are when they're not, when they're very well, right? So your person here is not feeling great. So when they don't feel great, they're much more in a lower vibrational energy. They don't feel like themselves. And so then you're wondering like, oh, you know, why are they not doing so much? Why are they not saying so much? It's because they don't feel so great and they want to rest, relax, take care of themselves and do other things and just work on recovery. Once they've recovered, they will be so much more like themselves again. It's a very common thing that your um, energy, you know, your like how you feel someone can like ruin you know their day and then they might not say much to you or do much towards you because that person's ruined their day right so it's it's one of those things where our environment also affects our emotions and also how we do things towards other people so that's trying you know what i'm trying to explain here because some of you might be like what's that got to do with you you know you know what i mean um but it has it has of course you know, so um, that's the thing here as well, is that I actually do believe heavily that someone today has not been very nice to them. Someone has not been kind to them, um, has been very rude, dismissive, and actually very patronizing to them. And it has just been making them not feel good, which is why I don't feel that they are really doing as much or saying as much, okay? And um, yeah, they just feel really down, very low vibrational, not very great, but they are emotionally not feeling very well today, okay? So once they recover, they will be in a better place and state. Um, so yeah, their nerves have been really getting the best of, of them. They've just been feeling so like anxious and frustrated and just feeling, you know, um, oh, I keep going down this path of like trying to explain things in a different way, but basically, you know when, um, say for example, someone says something not very nice to you and you don't have the words to really answer them at that time, but then you go off, you do other things and then you're <laughs> laying in bed and you think to yourself, oh, I should have said this and maybe I should have said that. That's what's happening to them is that they're starting to realize like, oh, missed opportunity. I should have said this. I should have said that. I should have stood up for myself. That's what's happening to them. So their nerves are really getting the best of them. This is also, you know, why they've got, you know, these kind of stresses happening behind the scenes and other areas and aspects of their life. And then it impacts how they treat you and how they do things towards you. Okay, so yeah, their day does, you know, get affected in the, with these things. I've been hurt by love before. So with them not feeling so great today, you know, they kind of go down this rabbit hole of not feeling so great and thinking, oh, you know, I've been hurt before, I have fear, I, you know, it, it, it happens, it happens. And so King of Wands as your clarifying card here for this person. So they're basically thinking like, you know, I've been hurt by love before, you know, people have not been so nice to me. However, 
You've always been so there. You have always been so there. That's the king of wands energy coming through, okay? Whether you're male or female, I read energies in tarot, not specifically genders. Whoever you are, <laughs> you know, watching this, hello. Um, hello, hello. Uh, essentially, this shows here, okay, that even though they've been hurt by love before, they still trust you. They still trust you. Th their trust towards you has not gone anywhere. I think that's a really powerful, powerful thing because they're starting to realize that out of everyone in their life, they probably trust you the most. And those people don't even treat them very nicely, you know? So God, I am not blind to the signs, I do see them. Yeah, you might think to yourself, like, oh, they're probably just really blind, they probably don't see the signs, they probably don't see how much they care, they probably don't see this, they don't see that. I mean, they see them. They see those signs, okay? Look at that, they're not aloof. King of Cups, they see it, they feel it, right? But they also get very, very triggered with other things that happen in their day-to-day -day life and it impacts then how they do things towards you, impacts what they say towards you, it impacts everything. Um, and that's really the situation with them is that they get quite, you know, stressed out with that whole aspect of things. I shuffled this a bit too early, but it's okay. Um, I thought about having a family with you. So now, you know, what, what I think is happening today is that they're thinking, okay, I don't feel so great with how people have been treating me, you know, and then they, they are really going to keep to themselves today from what I'm seeing. I don't see so much communication happening between the two of you because they're much more in their head. But then they're also thinking like, you know, how can these people treat me like this? And then it clicks with them. But you've never tr treated me like this. Your affirmation here is quite significant and it's quite simple. The affirmation here is, I've always been there, okay? Your affirmation is, I've always been there. That's you affirming it to yourself. It's you validating yourself. It's you validating this person here as well. Comment it down below as well, especially if this reading resonates or you know with you or if you claim it. Also, don't forget to subscribe as well. It really helps out the channel. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think that that's uh, you know, really, really significant and very powerful. So we have also got here the star as well. And you know, what I think is really interesting here is that thought about, you know, a rebirth in their life, making things actually happen, you know, wanting a family, wanting joy, because people around them are not very nice, but they're starting to think, wait a second, but you are. And maybe this is, you know, a sign because they do see the signs. Okay. They see it. They feel it. It's there. It's absolutely there. Um, star is also about birth so they could also be thinking about you know having children with you uh, wanting a future with you in that sense and what that could also be like as well because they just are sick and tired of feeling like this and being surrounded by the wrong kinds of people I've been expanding my spiritual knowledge so they have been trying to grow um, and really get themselves together and it shows, it really does show here as well, is that they're trying, but then they still, you know, emotionally can feel overwhelmed. And that's the thing, is that even if you are doing, someone who does a lot of spiritual practice, you can still feel emotionally overwhelmed, you know? There's so many other things that can happen, like moon phases and astrological events and just strangers, okay? Just strangers saying things here and there or just, you know, little things can happen. Or say, you know, you, um, you do something in the day and it kind of just ruins your day or you know all these things can happen you know when it's it's you know part of life but i think that one thing for sure is that they're starting to recognize and realize your value i've been hurt uh ooh, i've got the clarifying card hold on a second seven of pentacles yeah there you go okay so they've been doing a lot of reflecting a lot of thinking <laughs> to be honest i think i just kind of explained that card myself <laughs> when i was going through um everything that i was talking about here okay so i think that's pretty self-explanatory there's a lot of growth happening within them i've been hurting without you you have no idea so they do feel pain in that sense you know being without you yep see three of wands they look out into the world and recognize that nobody really compares to you nobody does i'm going to take action i'm just planning the approach okay so today they are thinking about all of these things now that's this is a lot to think about but i'm not surprised i'm, I'm really not surprised that they're thinking this much okay i'm really not let's take this top one yep see judgment they're coming to some conclusions they're thinking about what they should do how they should come across how you may react how you may not they know they need to do something i'm not hiding the connection for the wrong reasons they're hiding it because they're obviously quite stressed out, overwhelmed, they want space and time for themselves, but they still have those strong feelings towards you. They obviously are not doing too much towards you today, but they are thinking a lot behind the scenes. We've got here, I miss being intimate with you. Yep, there you go, Ace of Swords. They really miss 
that attraction, that chemistry, that movement that the two of you had with one another. We've got, I do think about the future and when I do, I think about you in it. Yep. Uh, we have that before as well. I thought about having a family with you. So these are thoughts, okay? Today is a very powerful day where they're having a lot of thoughts about you, especially with the Nine of Pentacles, they see you as like the perfect person. Perfect, like partner, you know, someone who's independent, kind, caring, genuine, mature, understanding, respectful, kind. I do talk about you. So I feel like they've told someone close to them about you. And they're still not ready, okay? So the Five of Pentacles shows they're still not ready to properly come forward, but they have spoken about you. They do feel quite connected to you. They do feel lonely without you as well, which I think is interesting, but they know that they have their own problems and issues that they need to sort through. So this is your reading, you know? And one thing is for sure is that you've always been there. And so, of course, you know, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, intention items, which are on my website. I also have TikTok and Instagram. If anyone wants to follow me on that, feel free to do so. And please do subscribe as well to the channel. Um, that would be amazing. And I'll see you all very soon. All right, take care, everyone.